Good evening and salutations, my b, &B fans. Um, you know, it's interesting. In some days, in some ways, I felt like I missed one episode and I missed a lot. And in the other, and in the other sense, I felt like I really didn't. So you got Ridge, Brooke. By the way, does anyone actually like Brooke? Like, does anyone actually like this character? Because I feel like every time she comes on screen, I'm just like... What is your problem, lady? So, you got Ridge, Brooke, um, Liam, and you got Hope. You got Hope's dad. Um, how is his name? Deacon. That's the same guy that used to play, um, on General Hospital. I can't remember his name now. AJ. Um, so you got Deacon in there, and everyone is getting all up in his face. Like, they're getting up all up in Deacon's face. They're like, what are you doing here? How could you, like, why are you here for? And Hope is like, yo, I just want a relationship with my dad. I just want to sit there and try to talk to my dad. Now, granted, I don't know the backstory about that character and all the different things that he's done to Hope to his mother, I mean to her mother, to the family. But, you know, everyone's not saying that this guy's a loser, he's a loser, he's this, he's that, he's a third. Even Liam is chiming in like, hey, listen, well, if they sit there and say he's bad news, then he's bad news. And, you know, we, we don't, I don't want him around my kids because, because they said that he's bad news. Like, you know, my whole thing is like, all right, I get it, you know, um, He's not a good guy, or he wasn't a good guy back in the day, you know? But you're sitting there, chat and you're, you're chastising Hope just for wanting to get her know her, just for um, wanting to get her, wanting to get to know her dad. And this scene just goes on and on and on. This is even after Deacon leaves. They're just on her back. And after a while, I was like, well, damn. First of all, you act like she's not a capable and adult that can sit there and make decisions for herself. And Brooke just kept going, bro, you know, he's bad news and, you know, you're not going to sit there and see her anymore. I'm like, Brooke, she's a grown-ass woman. What do you mean, she, what do you mean you're, you're not allowed to see her anymore? Like, she can make her own damn choices. She can make her own decisions. She doesn't need you to sit there and say, okay, like, this is not how... She's a grown adult. I, I just, watching that scene was just like, it almost seemed as like they were coming at her like she was seven. And she spilt something, and now they're just like, well, see, this is why you can't sit there and do this. Because, you know, you, you know you're running around with your juice, and, you know, next thing you know, you're running too fast, and you spilt it. And it's just a really bad idea. That's how I felt like, what, that's how I felt watching it. It's like they were just all giving her just one giant ass lecture and after a while it's like, okay, so this is this is going on way too long. Um <laughs> part of me wanted to be like, Brooke, shut up. But I get it. She lived through it and everything like that. At the end of the day, like it's it's your daughter's decision. Like you can't sit there and be like Chastising isn't gonna work, and honestly, to tell you the truth, I it just got kind of annoying after a while. Now, in the description, it said that Finn was feeling guilty. I don't know exactly what he was feeling guilty of. Like, did he ever actually text back Cheryl, or was he just looking at it like? Because when Steffi got home, looking at the baby and everything like that, spending her little cutesy time or whatever, um, you know, Steffi was like, "Well, you know, to let you know, you know." You, what do you, it almost made it seem like she was like, you're not allowed to actually have contact with Cheryl. Like, well, that's not what she said, but it was like, well, Cheryl's not allowed in this family. You know, we're not going to have contact with Cheryl or anything like that ever. And that's just how it is. And it was just like, I partly was like, well, damn, I guess you just, you just speak for him too, right? Like, I get it. You don't want, you don't want Cheryl on your kids. Okay, fine. That's a grown ass adult. Now, granted, She's done some really bad things to her family over the years. So I get her apprehensive of just wanting to get, you know, wanting her anywhere near her family. 
I get that. But she's not even taking into consideration um, that Finn may want to actually get to know his mother, you know, his bio mom. You know, I understand what she was coming from, the decisions that she made, why she made them, stuff like that. He may actually want to sit there and, I don't know, dare you say it, have some sort of relationship. Like, I get it. The worlds can't come together. Okay, the world's got to be apart, but it's almost like she just made the decision for him. And I get it, they're married and everything like that, but it's like, alright, they're married, and he's supposed to sit there and consider her feelings. But she doesn't really seem like she's considering his feelings. And granted, I get it, to an extent, she's done some bad things to her family, and I don't know how recently that was. But it's just one of those things that's like, okay, so I guess we're just gonna... Okay, I guess uh, I guess his opinion doesn't really matter. That's, that's, that's cool, I guess. Now, the last scene is with Cheryl and Deacon. I hope I'm saying his name right, by the way. So, they meet up at the bar. And apparently, they know each other. They knew each other from back in the day. And so, they're just sniping at each other back and forth. And somewhere along the lines, they realize that they do have something in common. Is that they can't see their children because of the foresters. Um, and that's when Cheryl was like, you know what, listen. Together, if we team up, we can definitely get what we want and they won't be able to stop us. And at first, you know, Deacon's like, I like, mean like a team up or something? And she's like, yeah. I I have a feeling like, you know, at this point, we all know that he's going to go along with it because... There's only so many times you're going to sit there and want to hit that brick wall before he's like, you know what, maybe a team up isn't, isn't such a bad idea, but, <laughs> I mean, it's a really bad idea because let's be honest, the Foresters don't like either of them, and now they're going to sit there and what, team up and be together? Oh, hell no. That's what I can expect the reaction of them, um, yeah. I felt like, <laughs> like usual, I always feel like I'm, like, leaving something out. So if I did, please write it down in the comment section below. And I said this in my other review, but I'm going to say it in this one. Um, so, Bold and Beautiful um, reviews are going to be weekly. Um, it's going to be pretty much a recap of all the highlights and stuff like that that's happened um, throughout the episodes with the characters and stuff like that. Um... Because at one point I was going to try and do all four and seeing how I'm working full time in the daytime and trying to take on four videos at night, it was like trying to do two full time jobs and yeah. Um, plus they were coming out like super late and it, it just was like, yeah. So I'm going to be doing um, weekly reviews and you know, do that. Um, because I feel like it just works better with my schedule and it's not like it's just so, you know, like if I was, and I said this in my other video, but if I was doing YouTube full time, then I would definitely have no problem just doing all four of them or whatever. Um, and one day I do want to get to that position where I am just doing YouTube full time because I love it. Um, also, I didn't really sit there and say this. Well, I said in my other videos, but... Um, so I just officially moved into my new place, which is, hence the new background. Um, and so I'm officially moved in. Everything is, like, packed and, and whatever. Which is great, because this week has been crazy between trying to do the videos and, you know, um packed the move and everything like that and it's it just it was kind of a lot and then I was doing four one time and you know four in like one day so that was just yeah um so now that the packing's done I can just spend more of my time just watching it and, and taking notes and stuff like that so like when the weekend comes up and sit there and do my review and um yeah 
So, with that being said, I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna go, um, I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, you know, I know it's only like a half an hour, but when it's like 11.30 and I gotta wake up at like 6, yeah, it's still, <laughs> it's still kind of a lot, um, I don't know, I'm gonna kind of see how this week treats me, um, I know why, I know I'm definitely gonna be doing that, um, weekly. I don't know, I, you know, the things that I, the, the reason why I like to do it daily is because my reaction changes. So it's like, Monday I may be ecstatic about the episode, and Tuesday I may be like, Brooke, you're an idiot, you're a dingbat. Um, and so there's a certain emotion that goes with it after finish watching that episode, and that's why I always like to do it, um, you know, daily, but... You know, I want to do all four of them, and I want to do it right, and I want to do it justice, and I don't want to just sit there and throw out a video, just for the sake of throwing out a video. Um, so I'm going to just do the weekly ones, and then, you know, my schedule gets a little bit better, then I can just kind of go back to doing weekday, I mean, um, you know, daily, daily reviews, but for right now, I feel like this is just kind of the better way to go. So with that being said, I'm going to go, wow. Only 11 minutes, and I think my review was like over three minutes ago. Um, but yes, I'm gonna go. I want to thank everyone for watching. Be safe. I will see you in the next video.